Today we are going to look at a man who wants you to know that he is successful in life. He has it all. Cars, wealth, and a luxurious lifestyle that anyone would envy. He wants you to believe that he got it all himself. And that you are poor just because you do not try hard enough, like he does. कड़वा सच बताऊं, जब किस्मत बदलती है, तो गैरों से ज़्यादा अपनों की जलती है। There's just something funny about this guy making a video, dubbing his own voice over his smug face driving, with a caption like that. So let us start with this clip of his experience at a restaurant. शर्म आनी चाहिए तुम्हें। कि जब उस रेस्टोरेंट पे मैं आ जाऊँ दुनिया की महंगी तरीन गाड़ी में और तुम मेरे टेबल पे खाना लाओ तो शायद भाई आप ही बोलो बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट शर इफ यू मिलिएटिंग और एम्बेरेसिंग योर फैंस पब्लिकली लाइक दैट इज समथिंग दैट विल गिव देम एनी मोटिवेशन अगर तुम मेरे फैन होते तुम साला वहां दो टके का जॉब कर बट वी विल कम टू हिज प्रोसेस लेटर Oh, and he'd do anything to give you a sense of credibility. He would support his words by vague religious lines to bring credibility to his statements, no matter how vulgar they are in reality. Case in point, we have this video where a guy points out in the comments that the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, lived in poverty. That money isn't the end goal, and you don't understand Islam if you think so. He reacts by making a rant. Dissing the commenter's father, bashing his poverty and his lack of drum roll, please. Wives. Our Nabi sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam غريب نہیں تھے غريب تمہارا باپ ہے جو دو ٹکے کا چودہ سو سال پہلے یارا بیویا غريب نہیں رکھ سکتا. I don't understand how having eleven wives implies great wealth. By that logic, the rich should have the most babies, while the poor shouldn't have any. और तुम्हारा वो दो टके का बाप 2022 में तुम्हारी सगी माँ को सुकून नहीं दे सकता हमारे नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ने 11 बीवियों को सही मकाम इज्जत और मोहब्बत दी है जो तुम्हारी माँ बिचारी को नहीं मिलता हमारे नबी हजरत मोहम्मद चौदह सौ साल पहले एक ताजिर थे मर्चेंट और मर्चेंट गरीब नहीं हो सकता जो तुम्हारा बाप है दो टके का है तुम्हारा दादा है गुलाम है हमारे नबी हजरत मोहम्मद ने कभी गुलामी नहीं की तुम्हारा बाप गुलाम है सो ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट स्लेवरी इज अ मेटाफोर फॉर द नाइन टू फाइव डेली ग्राइंड अपेरेंटली इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक अ लिविंग बाय डूइंग अ जॉब यू आर अ स्लेव आई एम नॉट श्योर हु ही थिंक्स विल मेक द आइटम्स ही वांट्स टू सेल इफ वी ऑल स्टार्टेड सेलिंग बट दैट्स बिसाइड्स द पॉइंट हमारे नबी सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम गरीब नहीं थे गरीब मुसलमानों की सोच है जिन्होंने हमारे रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम पे ये इल्जाम लगाया है कि वो गरीब थे आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई ही हैज टू ड्रैग इस्लाम इनटू दिस वल्गर रैंट बट टू आंसर आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू कॉपी एंड पेस्ट अ पैराग्राफ ऑफ टेक्स्ट हियर द मैसेंजर पीस बी अपॉन हिम वाज नॉट ओनली अ गुड एग्जांपल फॉर ट्रेडर्स बट ही वाज अ गुड एग्जांपल फॉर द रिच एंड पुअर द मैसेंजर Peace be upon him. Lived a poor life and experienced what the poor experience of hunger and the need for food, drink, and clothes. How many times was he hungry, not finding anything to eat? Although he was the messenger, peace be upon him, the best of God's creation. Sometimes, due to lack of food, the messenger, peace be upon him, used to even tie a stone on his stomach due to hunger. Graded as authentic by Al Abadi, the life of the Holy Prophet is said to be a complete example for humanity. He had seen days where there was no food, and he had seen days where there was some. He left examples for us on how to lead our life in either situation. A rat like this should not be put online without any thought put into the subject material. The way he bends Islam portrays that Islam promotes a life of luxury. and wealth when the basic principles of the religion scream at you that wealth is a fitna temptation or a test aajkal ke musalman nakam ho chuke hain loser hai agar itne hi rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke ahkam pe amal karte ho yahi hadith hai ki rizq tijarat mein hai hamare rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ne kisi ki gulami nahi ki afsos tera baap gulam hai i know that something like this would deeply offend anyone 
but we should guide the misguided towards the right path instead of bullying or fighting them. You think? I don't know why you would want his father to have a second wife when you already believe that his first one is unhappy. I refuse to believe that this man is in the right state of mind while making this video. This has to be a parody or a deep fake. Okay, sorry my man, I'll crawl out of the gutter. Here he's probably referencing his stay in Saudi a while back when he was younger, which would be fair if we could all relate to his bad experiences there. We don't. A lot of people I know are more than happy. And contrary to what Sir Shahid here might believe, the commenter or the viewer most likely would never have or attempt to be in the position that he was. Not sure who this is for. So what is this process? How do you crawl out of the gutter? Well, in the caption of all of his videos, we get a nice link. And there you go, that's where the business is. An online course. Not only are you offered a course, he's generous enough to answer your questions. As long as you pay him $20. Or set up a meeting. As long as you have the hefty sum of $1,000. So let's look at the course. For $300, it has to be something good. Seeing the content list, there didn't seem to be anything special. Who am I to judge though? You can't assess the worth of a legendary course by only looking at some video titles. So I got the course. I did pay for it obviously. As a poor man I had to obtain the video content through a generous lad who was willing to share the content. And it was exactly how I envisioned. Let's start with the Amazon courses. It's generic advice mostly, otherwise just him setting up things. Scrolling through menus as if that's something that people need assistance with. Amazon wants you to sell on their website. In fact, they would be very happy to teach you these things. So much that they have their own so-called Amazon Seller University, which is free. You all might have guessed by now where the idea for the name Shahid University comes from. In fact, unlike Shahid's course where the videos are screen recorded, have a mismatched audio volume, Amazon has professionally produced videos that don't help you fall asleep. Something precarious occurred while watching the videos. Here he has his account and his sellings perfectly exposed. And would you look at that? Only one order today with zero sales. I wonder why. Now, now, we can assume that he might have other seller accounts, and this account was a temporary one for this course, unlikely because he would need to register and pay just for this temporary account. Not to mention the tax ID registration process. But it will be more clear when we look at the other course in a bit. Moving on. The FBM or the wholesale courses are no different. The FBM course is a 16-minute video of the previous course, reiterated, using the same product for the examples. The wholesale course is telling you to find good wholesalers to get items in bulk. You don't get to know about any sellers or get tips to find any. You need to research and find local ones on your own. So much for insider information when you don't get basic knowledge on how to start. Actually, he does tell you about a few wholesalers in the US. 
which is literally useless information for 95% of the audience. Why are you giving tips for finding US wholesalers in Urdu? Who's that information for? Don't get me started on the dropshipping course. You can watch a 12-minute video on why it's not a good idea, and any sensible person should see that. I'm going to quote the mentioned video here. You make money when you add some value to society. What value are you adding to society with dropshipping that would earn you money in the long term? If it's as lucrative as they say it is, the manufacturer who creates the items could sell it directly to Amazon. Adding a middleman is extra steps with an extra cost. You're not a trustable company, just like the manufacturer in China producing the items. Now we move on to my favorite video course, How to Create NFT. He tells you to create a cheap basic design, or like him, get a sample off Canva as it is. He tells you to create a wallet and send $200 to it. Afterwards, you see the stolen Canva art being uploaded to Rarible. So the thing about this video is that you can actually see his NFT store live and... Whoops, they are all still unsold without any bids. What am I supposed to learn? How will the process take me out of poverty when my mentor failed to make any money from it? Should we see the results working for him if we're being taught by him? It's supposed to be his money-making process. So let's say you paid $300 to learn the NFT market tricks, but you get a man who tells you to upload any random JPEG without caring about copyrights. A man who's teaching you the tricks to success with NFT while having zero NFT sold in total. Lastly, we move on to his Facebook Marketplace course. We know this time that this isn't a fake temporary academy account because he's managing his page through it. He tells you to buy wholesale items, anything you like, and put it onto the marketplace. He tells you that his start in e-commerce was from Facebook Marketplace in 2016. <laughs> You actually get to see his first listing, so the account is his real account with his real success data. His course was recorded at the end of 2021, and at that time, he had only 15 ratings in total. It has been a year since then, and yet, his ratings remain at that number. 15. As Shahid himself says in his own video about what kind of mentor you should follow. If you go hospital for hair transplant ke liye, or doctor takla nikle, you will be process pe hoga? Now, I can only judge based on the public information that I find, and so far I can't find any evidence of his process being profitable for him. His courses sell you information that you can easily find for free online. Our long videos of him clicking through menus. This course selling business isn't new. The patterns we see here have existed in the Western influencer community for ages. Let me insert a short clip here of how people who sell courses act like. In this DM, Raul shows a screenshot and says, did you cook this up? And it's a success story, okay? But then Kevin goes, nah, ha ha ha. It was the Mexican kid, bro. It's crazy. And the guy's basically talking about how much money he's making uh, with e-commerce. And so they're, they're in disbelief that any of their students succeeded. No way, I can't believe he's one for one. $400 a day in like shock, they say, what's his niche? Can we steal it? which is the most insane thing to say about a student that you're helping, right? These people are saying, hey, buy our course, we're gonna teach you how to do this thing. Then when you actually succeed, they go, gosh, I can't believe you succeeded. We keep failing at this thing we're supposedly teaching. And then he goes, our winning student, the, can we steal his success? 
You're bound to be successful if you work hard enough. Selling and becoming a merchant isn't a bad deal or a dead end. Just don't pay $300 to $1,000 to an influencer for it. I can assure you that there isn't a single minute of any of those courses that is hard to figure out for free. There's no such thing as a free cake either. Doing something like this would be a full-time duty just like a job. Getting paid while providing no value isn't and shouldn't be a thing. If we all stopped providing value, nothing would be there to sell. Loopholes don't exist. You need to add value to society and earn your living. Earning an education and getting a job well and good, unlike what Shahid would have you believe. As for the dollars earned in sales of his students that he loves to boast, don't forget about the taxes and that revenue or sales are profit. You don't see the investments of the people and the money they sunk into their store to get that first sale. The revenue may look high in number, but that doesn't mean that the profit is high. Alibaba CEO Walid two dollar ka leta, but me twenty dollar ka and Facebook ka sale. Think about it. You wouldn't buy a one dollar item for twenty dollars. Why would anyone else do it? If I was a successful entrepreneur that made millions of dollars through selling things online, I would start a company and hire other people full time to take over the business. I would not spend my time in making two to three videos per day on Facebook and TikTok with links to a course on each video. All of the links on the websites earn him money one way or another. Clicking on the Robin Hood link or the Jungle Scout link gives him profit for referrals. So I ask you, why isn't he starting a company where he can help others in a better way by teaching employees his skills and sharing the profits with his employees? Why do we get videos that make us angry on our situation and take a step by giving him money? I'd spend so much time on these Facebook ads for my website only if I had a monetary incentive to do so. And I would disable comments on my videos only if I had things to hide. And that's where I believe that the real money is selling you the idea of success, not in selling items on marketplaces. So. He's making videos and selling courses charging exorbitantly for public information. Who cares? Well, some people are wasting their hard-earned money, impressed by his wealth, paying to talk to him, seeing him like a legend and wanting to be like him. Not everyone is making memes about him and sharing his videos for the cringe. People do believe in his process. <laughs> आपको हजार डॉलर हम नहीं दिए मुझसे बात करने नहीं 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 वो कहते हैं अभी दो महीने की छुट्टी हुई थी ना अच्छा तो मैंने अब वो कहा कि मैंने इस बारी काम करना है उन्होंने परमिशन पहले नहीं देते थे कहते थे आप छोटे हो ये वो इससे ये मैंने कहा मैंने काम करना इस बारी वो कहते हैं क्यों मैंने कहा ऐसे ही बस चाहिए पैसे पैसे अगर ठीक करके ना पहले दो हफ्ते के पैसे जो मिले उसे मैंने बस ये करना था मैं शायद आपको बस 6 साल में हो गए देगा मैं आपको आपको पैसे नहीं थे इतने आपसे बात करने के लिए या कोर्स करने के लिए तो आपने मुझसे बात करने के लिए दो हफ्ते काम किया दो हफ्ते हां अभी तीसरा अभी दो हफ्ते और करूंगा फिर प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च करने के लिए नहीं बहुत खुशी हुई यार कि आप इतना सीरियस लेते हो अपने आप को आप टू बी ऑनेस्ट अक्सर लोग नहीं करते अपनी जिंदगी को बदलने के लिए साहब को देख देख के नाव कैसे गरीब काम पे हो ये वो अच्छा He likes to boast about his students' success, their first sales, and what not. I don't see the failures listed anywhere. There's much else to say, but we don't have the time. Like, for example, I wanted to discuss the ATM business idea, or his Facebook videos about profitable products to sell. But I will leave you guys with this masterpiece instead. क्या लड़की तुम्हें मिलियनर बना सकती है? Of course. अगर तुम बिलियनर हो <laughs>